I hope everyone is doing well today. Uh, today I wanted to share this freebie I created, um, this depth tracker. For those who are new to tracking or want to learn more or just want to do it so you're more aware of your credit card debt, I will have it linked down below for anyone who's interested in downloading the file. So let's get started from the top. Um, the top you will be putting the debt name, which is the institution like Bank of America, Chase, Discover, Capital One. Some, uh, a name that distinguish you know which card it is. And then you're going to write your starting balance. I recommend writing the statement balance that um, is listed on your statement paper that you receive every month as well as your due date so that you can put it on your calendar and you know when your the bill is due so you don't get a late charge or you so you don't forget it obviously uh, and then you want to write your minimum payment all this information can be found on your statement papers so having that hand on hand it's a good resource for you to refer to from my personal experience uh, if you don't have a clear budget amount to pay for your debt I recommend starting with your minimum payment and if it's a car that charges interest you need to do your minimum payment plus your interest so in this example I have the minimum payment being $50 and your interest being $20. So my payment for the month of January is 70. But be aware that if this is a card that you're actively, actively using, I would recommend adding all your transaction total to, the, to your payment because if you don't do that, all the spending total will be added to your balance and it carries over to the next month, which will increase your interest fee and your balance. So in order to make your money worth, worth the amount it is to pay down your debt, you need to do it this way if this is a card that you are actively using. And if you can't do that, that probably means you don't have the money to make these purchases in the first place. And you need to re look at all your purchases and see if they were necessary, if they were emergencies, or they were just mindless spending. If it's mindless spending, then you probably should stop find a way for you to stop that because this is if you can't do this where you're paying off your purchases in full you're you're living above your means and you're spending money you don't have which will accrue more debt which is something we are trying to avoid by using this tracker if you follow the tracker timeline you should be able to see your balance go down. If it's not going down, either you, you miscalculate your spending or you didn't put the same interest fee that they are charging. But mo in most cases, this is probably where, you, where the issue would be if, if your balance is going up instead of down. And I think that's about it for this tracker. There are three columns, so you can track three different um, credit cards. But of course, you can print this however many times you want for how so you can track all your credit cards. This is one way that I track my credit card debts on paper just for me to have. I also track it digitally as well. But for but this is a good starter point. If you have any questions, comment 
them down below and I will get to them as soon as I can. If you like more budget related videos, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.